Hey everyone, my name is Christopher San Augustine and I'm the founder of Broken and Coastal, which is a creative studio and independent magazine based in the Pacific Northwest. I just wanted to make a quick video showing you my new PC workstation that I just built. It's built around the AMD 5950X and the NVIDIA RTX 3090. So it's a super sick machine and um, figured I would just kind of show you how I built it up and how it's performing. Let's check it out. Starting off, we have the AMD Ryzen 9 5950X, the Noctua U12A CPU cooler, a Gigabyte B550 Vision D motherboard, 128 gigs of crucial ballistic memory, two one terabyte M2 drives. Next up, we have the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 Founders Edition. And this is all being housed in the Fractal Design 7 compact ATX tower case. It's being powered by the EVGA Supernova T2 850 watt battery, Windows 10 Pro, of course, and a bunch of Noctua case fans. All right, and that's about it. This was my second PC that I ever built, so I learned a lot with that first one. Something that did pop up during the install process was I couldn't get Windows to install and was kind of freaking out a little bit because the BIOS would come up, but then it would kind of freak out and wouldn't let me install Windows. I found a thread where it said that I could update the BIOS and that could, could help, thankfully. And it was like super simple to just download the updated BIOS from their website onto USB drive, loaded that up, and Windows installed, no problem. As far as hiccups goes, that was literally the only thing with this build that like kind of set me back and kind of freaked me out a little bit. Everything else went super smooth. So here are the results from running Cinebench with the PC completely stock. I have to note that I was screen capturing during these tests, which I believe affected the score. Next up, I ran the Puget Systems After Effects benchmark test. After Effects really is my like bread and butter program. It's something I'm in every day. And the score was a bit disappointing to me as I saw other systems built by Puget with um, pretty much identical specs and hardware um, were outperforming mine by 50-ish points or something like that. All right, so what happens when we overclock the CPU? That was something I was super interested in and a big reason why I ended up picking up the 5950X. So I did a very simple all-core overclock at 4.5 gigahertz, and the results only improved during the multi-core test. And even then, the CPU ran very, very, very hot, um, dangerous hot. With that said, I'm a complete newbie at overclocking, so I mean, that's kind of to be expected. I didn't really know what I was doing. I read a guide, watched a couple YouTube videos, and kind of jumped in and, and tried to do something, but it didn't really work out. So ultimately, I reverted back to the stock CPU settings and focused on overclocking the memory instead. I boosted the memory in the BIOS to run at 3600 GHz and tightened up the timings based on some info I found on Reddit. And here we go, the results were amazing, absolutely incredible. With the memory being overclocked, the computer absolutely smashed the benchmark test, scoring a 1380 in the Puget After Effects test. Nothing really came close to it that I found on their website, so I was super stoked on that. The computer also took the number one spot on the single core Cinebench test and made huge gains on the multi-core test underperforming the 32 core Threadripper by just 2,800 points. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the real world performance of this machine. So night and day compared to my last machine. Um, I think a big part of that is the 120 gigs of RAM and potentially with that overclocking on the RAM as well. Um, just like working in After Effects is like pretty insane. Um, just being able to like, animate and just like live preview straight through. With that said, uh, just last night actually I started using a project or started a project using Trap Code Particular which is obviously super intense on the system and while it did RAM preview like really really fast it did ch uh, you know did stumble here and there. Um, that is you know to be expected normally with like a big particular system, you'd be RAM previewing and probably walking away for a few minutes. Um, this I could actually RAM preview live and it would choke like here and there. So not terrible. Um, what else? I haven't really got to spend a lot of time in Cinema 4D. That's um, a big goal of mine in 2021 is to do more Octane and Cinema 4D work. 
and that's why I committed to the 3090 card. So excited for that. Maybe we'll have to revisit that down the line. Um, you know, I did just load up some old projects and just kind of played around and uh, the card is a game changer compared to my 1080 Ti. So very stoked on that. So overall, the real world performance of this machine is um, amazing as to be expected. This is definitely like what I believe to be, um, you know, probably like the best motion graphics, design, animation, editing rig you can put together right now. Super stoked on it. Let me know if you have any questions. That's it, that's the rig. Super stoked on it. Thanks for watching.